Homelander versus Titan, two unhinged villains of ultimate power, all while seeing themselves as the good guy. But who'd win in a fight? And really, is this fight even close? Well, I think the first thing we need to take a look at is their strength and power. Let's start out taking a look at Titan. When cameraman Hal Stewart was accidentally infused with Metro Man's DNA by Megamind, well, that's how he gained his powers and became the supervillain Titan. Yeah, Megamind tried his best to groom him into a proper hero or to challenge him in a fight, but instead, Hal quickly went absolutely mad with power. And since their powers are stated to be the same, most of Titan's feats should be applicable to Metro Man, and vice versa. And that does help him a lot with scaling, because Titan doesn't have a ton of feats to his name. Now, when it comes to strength, well, there are really two things that Titan has going for him. One is that he was able to destroy Megamind's Metro Man suit, which was an attempt by Megamind to copy Metro Man's powers. Though I'm not entirely sure just how powerful the suit actually was in comparison to Metro Man, we can say that the suit should be roughly just as powerful as Titan himself, because Megamind gave both of them their powers in the same way and Titan was able to fight against and overpower the mech. Then the second thing, and this one is really impressive, he was able to topple a pretty big part of a skyscraper, then threw it way far away with incredible accuracy, meaning that he had great precision and control while he was doing it, just showing off how strong he actually is. Now, if we're talking about Homelander, well, he is quite literally the strongest man in the world and has never met anyone who's been his physical equal. And I guess you could argue that Soldier Boy exists now, but I don't even know if Soldier Boy is his true equal. Sure, Soldier Boy can give Homelander a good fight, but Homelander said it himself. Oh no, no, no. I'm the upgrade. Soldier Boy can injure him, can blow him up with those explosions that would also theoretically depower him, but in a straight up fight, Homelander is still winning that one. He was still winning that one. He's easily crushed skulls, punched into a man's stomach, and just casually tossed people hundreds of feet into the air. And since he's the strongest hero in the world, it logically makes sense that he's stronger than all the other members of the Seven. He's stronger than Stormfront, who easily destroyed a building. Stronger than Queen Maeve, who's also easily stopped a speeding armored truck. And then stronger than A-Train, who's able to pull a locomotive after having just broken his leg. And he's like, way stronger than them. Homelander was able to casually knock off the door of a pressurized plane. But here's the thing, he did say he was actually not able to carry the hijacked plane to safety. So he kinda killed a whole lot of people there with that. But it does suggest that he's actually unable to use his full strength while he's up in the air. Either that, or while he could lift and move the plane, the outside of the plane so fragile, it would just end up punching right through it when he tried to push against it. I think he probably could have saved the plane or moved the plane if he wanted to. Bottom line, however, Homelander is pretty strong, but he really can't compare to Titan here. I mean, I guess in theory, you could argue Homelander could pull off something like this, but that is a massive stretch based on what we've actually seen from him on screen. And Titan's skyscraper feet easily outclasses anything we've seen from Homelander. It's not even close. Titan should be way stronger. But while Homelander is crazy strong, well durability is definitely Homelander's weakest asset. Not really because he's not durable, but just because he's never really had anything truly test his durability. He's bulletproof and was unscathed by a bus and rubble crashing down on top of him, but the guy's obviously intended to be invincible. 
it was said that if Homelander ever turned against America or turned against Vault, they'd have no way to take him down. It's also said that there isn't a weapon on Earth that they haven't thrown at him. They've all failed. Obviously, this is including nukes. So just from those statements, Homelander is incredible. But here's the thing. It's totally possible that Homelander actually isn't as durable as he makes himself out to be, or as everyone else makes him out to be. I mean, Soldier Boy was getting hits in and getting some dang good hits while he was at it. He even gave Homelander some bruises, forced him to apply a little makeup just to cover it up. Queen Maeve went against him, stabbed him straight in the ear hole. Get a little deeper there and Homelander is done for. Even Stormfront was able to throw him around, but that was definitely more the kinky type of roughhousing right there. Another thing is, just like Homelander doesn't have a ton of durability feats, doesn't really have a ton of speed feats. I mean, in fact, I don't think we've ever even seen Homelander's speed in a fight, except for maybe once or twice. That being said though, he is really pretty fast when he's just flying around, regularly flying at Mach speed, even up to Mach 5. And here's the thing, for all you can say of Homelander right there, you can also say the same thing for Titan here too, who've never really seen his durability tested at all. His best durability feat is probably fighting against the mech and surviving that explosion. In theory, that's the same thing we've seen from Homelander too. They're probably roughly the same when it comes to durability. We've never seen either one really test their upper limits here. And again, it's the same for speed for Titan. Now, if we're basing him off of Metro Man, well, Titan has absolutely ludicrous speed, like ridiculous speed. Because while we've never seen Titan actually do this, if he's anything like Metro Man, he's got some of the best speed in the universe. Legit, the type of speed where you can freeze time all around you and spend a whole day in that space within seconds. If Titan is even using a fraction of this speed, well then he's gotta be faster than Homelander. And then both of them have very powerful heat vision. And Homelander is absolutely no problem just completely spamming his heat vision all over the place. And for the most part, well, it really is effective. He can easily slice through flesh and bone, just kill people with one glance, and he can also use it against other supers, send them flying backwards. But with Titan, while he was able to create a pretty massive explosion when he attacked Megamind's drones, and then destroyed basically a whole city block, as he uses heat vision to misspell Titan in the ground. Now, one knock against Titan is that he's nothing more than just a bully. And as soon as you stand up to him, he has to fight someone as powerful as him, he'll turn and run. Dude's a coward. But you can kind of say the same thing about Homelander. Sure, he's more likely to actually stay and fight, but he's so used to picking on people significantly less powerful than him that as soon as he runs into someone who matches him well he starts quaking in his boots a little bit but yeah homelander is still a bit more likely to stay and fight than titan and i think that's balanced out by the fact that titan still is more powerful now not significantly more powerful but his heat vision is better and he's definitely much stronger than what Homelander's shown off. With those two things, well, I think you've got to give him the nod here and the victory. Titan wins. But what do y'all think? Sound off in the comments down below. I know you're going to have thoughts and feelings on this one for sure. If you stuck around this long and made it to the end of the video, that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting us. And if you want to go subscribe, well, go subscribe. You're going to see more videos like this one every single week. I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all next time.